Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, me and Mike are out on a duo camping trip. Two TPs in the back and we're at the ocean. So as you guys can see, it is a total whiteout out there. It is nothing but fog and we do have a thunderstorm rolling in, says the weatherman. We will see what happens a little later on today. But Mike brought his small Pomali Hussar tent and I brought the large version of that same tent. The reason why we went with a small tent and a large tent just in case it rains both of us can hide inside the large tent which will give us a large living area to kind of do whatever we're doing in there cooking talking hanging out and then he can go off to his tent and go to sleep and i can have the large tent because having a tarp out here to sit underneath is just going to be a nightmare trying to string that up and trying to get it all in the ground with the wind blowing it all over the place absolute nonsense so that's what we got going on today two tents right out on the ocean and we're going to enjoy this
All right, guys, it is afternoon coffee time. I've got my Amaretto, Kahlua, and I cannot remember the third ingredient, but this is Climax Coffee, one of my favorites I've been drinking lately. And as you guys can hear in the background, Mike is boiling up his water to make his coffee. Now, interestingly, I have a French press with my titanium pot. Mike does not, and I gave him some fresh ground coffee. However, my French press fits inside of his 750 pot, so I'm just gonna give him the French press piece. I thought that was kind of interesting, just in case you guys are wondering, is the lid transferable between pot to pot? The answer is yes, it fits on all 750 pots, and I'll show you guys once I hand it over to him, but we're just gonna enjoy coffee right now. The fog is rolling in off the ocean totally just brushing right through here it's kind of cool and eerie because it's going through the treetops complete white out behind us still i can't see the ocean can't see the water just nothing but a wall of fog so like i said we're going to enjoy coffee for a little bit and then i think we are going to scrounge up some firewood because right where i'm sitting we have a fire pit right behind me and we should be able to have a small fire if the, if the rain holds off we're going to see what happens but uh cheers guys coffee time Okay guys, so Mike's got his water all boiled up and he's just adding his coffee grounds to it now. Uh, this is what I was talking about. So we both have 750 ml pots. They're not the same brand. So I have probably about four 750 ml pots at home, <laughs> all different brands. And some of them have a bale, some of them don't. Don't ask why I have so many, I just do. Um, yeah. But all the lids are the same size. So Mike has his 750, which is brand new, yeah. his lid fits on mine just like a regular 750 would, which means my French press adapter will fit on his perfectly. So he's gonna let that steep just for a second. I often like to slosh it around a bit. If you kind of slosh it around or get a spoon in there to stir it up just to get those, uh, those grounds saturated, that way it'll get its flavor. I usually let it sit like that for about 20, 30 seconds, Mike, yeah. and then just start uh, slowly plunging and you'll feel it starting to push back a little bit and that's oh, yeah. when it's on the ground and yeah. then you just kind of sink it. Pressure. Yep, so I thought that was pretty cool. These are completely transferable to uh, different pots, which is really cool because I have a lot of 750s and sometimes I go out, my girlfriend comes with me, she'll have tea so I could put loose leaf tea in one and then transfer the lid to another pot with coffee grounds in it. I could do coffee or if me and Mike are out, like right now, I've got my coffee still in the bottom here. I still have probably about a cup of coffee in there. At least, yeah. So when he's done doing that, I can pop that off, put it back on mine, and pour out my coffee. We can go back and forth, yeah. which is pretty cool. Uh, just wanted to mention that because I know someone's going to ask, hey, what pots are you guys using? They're totally different pots, but they do work. So I'll let you do your thing. But there's also another difference between our pots. You have a pour spout and I don't. Yes, that is true. So with this one, there is an actual pour spout. Yeah. And I'll have a review on this in the in the future, but yeah. You don't have a pour spout, I do, so he's going to have to just kind of break the seal, yeah. lift your lid up just a tiny bit when you pour, and it'll still filter out because the filter's oh, yeah. all the way down to the bottom. That French press is yeah. all the way at the bottom. So, yeah, so that is kind of neat. <laughs> just thought I'd share that with you guys. A yeah. little bit of information. Yeah. Uh, very useful, though. So I'll let you do your coffee, yeah. and uh, I want to go drink again. mine. I'm going to try it black again. Black coffee. All right. <laughs> All right, two cups of different flavored coffee, pretty good. Uh, the temperature is starting to cool off a little bit right now, so it's funny because right where we're at on the shore, it's probably about 25 degrees. Yeah, it's not so too cold, it's not too hot, but on the way here, it was about 30 degrees. So it did drop about five to six degrees from where we're at right now. Later on this evening, it is forecasted to go down to about 15 to 12 degrees Celsius, so it should get quite a bit cooler. And I'm still waiting on the rain. It is really foggy out right now, and it, it should rain. Hopefully we get thunder and lightning. I'm really hoping for that. But um, I think we are gonna do our fire right here at this pit because it's not very windy. If it was windy, we would probably do it down on the shore because the tide is high right now. 
but later on this evening the tide will be out. Uh, the main reason for that is if it was windy, the embers would go directly into our tents, which would not be good. So we're just going to hang around here for a little bit, sip on our coffee. Uh, Mike has the saw today. I did not bring a saw. However, I did bring the carving kit. So <laughs> he's going to be doing the cutting. We'll both do the collecting. But then I do have multiple chisels and a hook knife and whatnot. So Mike and I can both do a little bit of carving out here, probably maybe on the stump or drag this inside the tent if it does start to rain. And uh, we can bang out some spoons, spatulas, whatever. We're going to see what we can get into because Mike is itching to start carving. He has not started yet. No. So we're going to see who can make the ugliest spoon. That's going to be the contest. <laughs> I win already. I don't know. I can make some pretty ugly spoons. <laughs> I can't even so, make a spoon. <laughs> so that's going to be the game tonight. We're just going to sit up here, kind of relax, have a fire, hopefully get into some food and some carving. But uh, coffee time and then firewood, guys. Okay guys, Mike and I were just down on the beach and we did manage to find some pretty decent pieces of firewood actually. And we've got this nice long piece of hardwood here and this is what we're going to be carving out of. We are going to burn some of this of course, but I think that that is going to make a pretty decent piece for carving spoons or spatulas or whatever we want to carve tonight. Mike has a saw so he's going to be doing the cutting and I'll be doing some of the batoning. So. We're going to pick out spots that we want to work with on carving later on tonight and then basically everything's just going to turn into firewood other than those two pieces. So let's mark out some pieces.
right guys, we're all cleaned up after supper. Everything's taken care of. I gotta say, I'm definitely stuffed. Mike's food smelled <laughs> awesome. I had a backpacker's style meal. And Mike actually cooked up some real food, so that smelled really good. But we both are totally finished with yeah. eating. And uh, we're just kind of looking at the pieces of wood that we kind of squared up for carving. Mike's got a little bit of a larger piece. And I've chosen, our pieces are very long, both. Now we're not gonna obviously carve something that long. We have a mark on where we wanna work. So my workable piece is right here. And he's got a little bit longer of a piece. Yeah. But we both have a natural check. So we're gonna be splitting our wood around there. Whatever he makes, he's gonna decide what he's gonna do. Uh, for me, I have a natural check. So I am gonna kind of chop down that. And I was gonna do a little spatula. I think I might just do another little spoon because I think he's going to be doing a spoon as well. I think so. So his first time doing a spoon, I might as well do a spoon at the same time. This way I could kind of show him how to work the tool and whatnot. Yeah. And uh, I'm no master carver. I suck at carving. So I don't this even is, know. This is just for fun, <laughs> but we're going to see what we can come up with anyway. So we've got a couple hours to kill before sunset. and. Uh, the fog is starting to break out there actually i know it's probably not picking up on camera we can actually see quite far out there on the water so hopefully as the temperature drops that fog clears out and we actually can see out on the water later on this evening but anyways i've got a tool roll full of tools we're going to rough these pieces up and get them ready to carve and then we'll start carving sounds like fun All right, guys, it's been probably an hour and a half now. The sun has basically gone down. The fog has cleared up a lot, but the sky is totally gray with clouds. But we have a view of the ocean now. We can see the tides out. We can see the land on the other side of the Fundy, uh, the Bay of Fundy. So we can actually see quite a bit of a view right now. And right now, we're just still picking away at our spoons. Mike, Mike's getting there. <laughs> this is Mike's first time. Yeah, it looks like crap. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, you know, you're definitely winning. <laughs> Told you. The ugliest spoon competition. <laughs> so this is his first time. He's just yeah. trying to get the meat knocked off to get to something a little bit more finesse. Yeah. Uh, so he's he's getting there. So he will have it finished tonight. I'm hoping to. <laughs> and we're going to take a look at them to see what they look like. Uh, mine's coming along pretty good so far. I'm, yeah. I'm quite happy with it. Um, we are going to get the campfire going very shortly, though. So we're going to be taking a lot of this shavings that we've got <laughs> toss them in there and that'll be kind of our tinder to get the fire going 
and, uh, and then we're just going to basically relax. So once we get the fire going, it should be fun just to kick back. And we've got the, the view of the ocean right now. So might even knock some of these rocks down and just sit facing that way with the fire. You might, yeah. So that's where we're at right now. Probably going to spend another 30, 40 minutes on this. Then we'll get the fire going and maybe have some drinks and whatnot and just yeah. relax. All right, guys, it is now nightfall. We've got the fire crackling away. We had a little bit of a sunset, which was pretty awesome. Big old bright orange pinkish sun just kind of fading into the darkness. Uh, my spoon 
is totally finished. Whoops, almost <laughs> went in the fire. <laughs> My spoon is totally finished. That's as far as I'm gonna take it. I left it kind of with like a rectangular handle. Um, I'm not gonna go any farther with it. I think that's pretty good for mine. Uh, Mike is still working away at his. So, one thing that I strongly believe, you are not a failure unless you quit. Mike has not quit I'm yet. I'm not quitting. <laughs> so he has not failed yet. So we're here for the night and for tomorrow. So who knows, we might have to see his tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, he's still working away at it though, but mine is finished. And I'm just gonna set it down before I accidentally drop it and step on it. Uh, we're just hanging out next to the fire now. So this fire is putting out some pretty decent heat. The temperature is starting to cool down slightly. Uh, it's still quite sticky and warm out though. So hopefully later on the temperatures will really drop. We don't have any rain yet, which is the biggest thing that I've been griping about for a while now is yeah. we didn't get any rain. The, the sky above us is actually blue, but there are massive, look at that, massive Ooh. dark black clouds just lurking right above the ocean. So quite a contrast going on out there. So we're just going to kick back and just basically relax around the campfire for a little while. Yeah. Mike's going to pick away at his spoon there. And we'll just keep tossing firewood on and just keep yeah. hanging out for quite a while. And I'll probably catch up with you guys when I head into my tent. I'll, uh, I'll say goodnight to you guys yeah. and whatnot, give you guys an update of what happened. And we'll take it from there. So we're just going to kick back, relax, and enjoy the campfire for a little while. All right, guys. Inside the tent now. And uh, still hear the campfire outside crackling away, so that's pretty cool. And I can actually see the glow coming through the tent wall, so that's also pretty cool. Once I get this light off overhead, the whole tent will light up with that campfire, so that'll be really awesome. Um, all in all, having a great time. Mike is still working on his spoon. So we will see it in the morning, whether it looks like a spoon or some kind of primitive club. I'm not sure. But we will see it tomorrow morning. Uh, I'll get mine out. I don't even know where I put mine, but we'll have a little side-by-side -side comparison showing what they look like. And uh, he is learning quite a bit, so that's a bonus too. So I'm going to be jumping inside of the tent. I do have a movie saved on my phone, of course, so I'm going to be watching that. I want to get out of these clothes, get into some pajamas, and zip this shut, get this light off. And I'm going to be watching a movie and then heading to bed. So I'll catch you guys first thing in the morning for coffee.
Good morning guys. It is a beautiful morning out here. Again, it is totally foggy out on the ocean. It's not too cold, it's not too warm, so we're kind of in between with temperature right now. Mike is up and he's just cooking up his water right now for his coffee. I've already done coffee and breakfast myself. Uh, we did not get any rain, so it was calling for a rainstorm. We have not got a single drop of rain on this trip yet. So, a little disappointing with that. I was hoping for rain, but maybe next time. Maybe next time, yeah. <laughs> so, like I said, Mike's up. He's going to do his coffee routine. I'm going to snack away on an apple for a few moments here. And, uh, and then I think we're going to slowly start picking away at the pack-up process because we don't really want to do it really quick. It's nice to just slowly pick away at it, drop the tent, do the sleeping pad, sleeping bag. And uh, we're just going to get it all jammed in the backpack over a few moments. So we're going to relax for a minute and then pack up. All right, so just taking a look at our two spoons. Uh, one spoon. <laughs> so Mike did not finish, but as we kind of covered yesterday, this was Mike's first project. He actually got quite more done from what I saw last night. You must have been picking away at this afterwards. Yeah, I did. So I went in my tent and kind of zipped the door shut and started my movie. And he stayed out here for probably another 20, 30 minutes. Uh, so he did get a little bit knocked off. He's just got a lot of the bulk that needs to be removed. Uh, but being the first time when I first started carving spoons, this would have taken me about two days. And that's kind of where he's at, realistically. So he definitely won the, the, the challenge of the ugliest spoon. <laughs> <laughs> but... It might not be the ugliest spoon when it's finished. So it, that's that's the fun thing about uh, carving and whatnot. And we were talking about this last night. I said even if you end up carving a spoon and then you throw it in the fire, it, it's not a waste of time because this is how you actually get to learn how to use your knife. This is where you'll learn, hey, my knife isn't sharp enough or my knife's too big for me or too small. And Mike ran into that issue. He found his knife was very large. Yeah. Very large and needs to be sharpened. So, but even though he has a large knife, carving spoons will teach him how to use that large knife in a more efficient way. So that's the fun thing about doing it. That's why I continuously do it, kind of whittle away, pick at different things, and you'll learn different skills with your knife and how to use it and a lot of safety precautions. <coughs> when you're doing like a draw pull, you're not gonna hit yourself. You got your hands gonna hit your chest before the knife and, and all that stuff. So he's gonna finish this on the next trip and he'll probably end up showing it to you guys on his channel, I imagine. Probably, yeah. Uh, you'll probably see it on his channel before mine, so that's where he's at. Put that right there. Mine is finished. I'm probably just going to take it home, put a little bit of olive oil in it, and toss it in the drawer. And it'll probably get uh, brought out here camping and whatnot on various trips. But just wanted to show that to you guys. Uh, he's going to finish up his coffee. While he's doing that, I'm going to move over to my tent because I do have a larger tent. So I'm just going to start tearing it down just to kind of get a little ahead on that. And I think we're going to start packing up very shortly. The fog is still rolling in. We got a whole bunch of moist kind of droplets kind of pushing in off the ocean. And it's kind of a mixed feeling because it is quite warm out right now. Uh, but it, you can still feel a little bit of a cool breeze. And it is still calling for thunder and lightning, but I, I gave up on hoping on that. I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> I don't think so. So, I mean, it looks like it's going to, but I don't think it will. So... Who knows? Either way, just wanted to show you guys the spoons where we're at for this morning, and I'm going to go start tearing my tent down. All right, guys, everything is packed up right now. He's got his pack loaded full. He's even got his little hammer on the outside, <laughs> his little spoon hammer. So he's gonna finish that up. Mine actually fits 
on the outside as well. I found out that it's the exact right length to go through three loops of molly, so that's pretty cool. Um, all in all, pretty decent time. No rain, which was uh, probably the, the crappiest part. I was yeah. really hoping for rain. I, I just I had this vision in my head, the large tent uh, sitting in there, car bank, staying dry with the campfire. That didn't happen. And it's honestly, it's hot out right now. So I took my sweater off. It's getting really muggy, really nasty out. The exact temperature that I do not like. So we're all packed up. His backpack's loaded, mine's loaded. We just crammed everything in there. Nothing's folded neatly, just crammed in there. And we are ready to go. So I'm going to get the camera packed away, get that on here as well. And I just want to say thank you guys for tuning in and watching. If you guys have any questions or comments, drop it down below as always. And I'll get back to you. Till next time, peace out guys. And we'll catch you in the next video.